Hey everyone, this is Exploring Fiction, and welcome back to another video. The competent man is one of my favorite character tropes in fiction, and I believe we need more examples of it in our modern time. So, in this video, I just wanted to answer a couple questions. The first being, what is a competent man in regards to character archetypes and characteristics? And the second being, is there a place for the competent man archetype today? And this is just my thoughts, having watched and read a lot of older fiction, just fiction that isn't being published currently. Uh, because I've been reading a lot of stuff like James Bond, I've been watching the Dollars trilogy with Clint Eastwood's Man With No Name, I've been re-watching the in original Indiana Jones movies, stuff like that, and I've been really thinking about and, and watching and observing these characters, and I just gave it the name The Competent Man Archetype, which I'm pretty sure I borrowed from a couple different creators, including maybe David V. Stewart and Professor Geek, so that name and that idea of an archetype isn't really my original one, but I just wanted to let you know that I am not like an expert on this subject or an expert on literature or anything like that. I'm just a guy on YouTube and I've just been noticing some trends and common traits between some of these characters that I wanted to kind of compile together into a video. So that's what this video is about. I'm not an expert. This is just my thoughts after analyzing and consuming some fiction that I really enjoy. If you don't know already, the competent man is a character within a story, usually the main protagonist, but not always, that is someone who always gets the job done. Many times, he doesn't have a character arc, though not always true, but instead acts as a pillar of stability for other characters and for the viewer slash reader. He is hardly ever in real danger of dying. The competent man usually shows up throughout many stories with a good idea of how to solve problems and defeat the antagonist, and is impeded more by antagonist actions than inner conflicts. I believe that the three best examples of competent men, though not the only ones, are James Bond, both in the novels and films, Indiana Jones, and The Man With No Name. Now we're going to exclude Daniel Craig's rendition of Bond for this video, because those involved with his films began to change the character a bit. But anyway... So just take note of that. When I'm talking about James Bond, I mean Bond from the novels and Bond in the films leading up to the Craig Bond. Looking at these three characters, we can see what makes up a competent man archetype. Firstly, we're never in doubt as to whether they'll survive or not. Sure, we can say that we fear for their lives in the heat of the moment, but realistically, we know they'll live to fight another day and go on another adventure. Secondly, we experience a feeling of relief when they appear. While the competent man may not show up right away in a story, whenever they do, we can feel a sense of relief. No matter how bad a situation may get, we know he'll be able to at least get out of it, and at most get out of it on top. Thirdly, the competent man has little to no character change. He interacts with other characters and moves the plot, but usually never has some huge revelation that he should change his way of life. Fourthly, the competent man is affected more by outside conflicts than inner. This one ties in with the previous point but he is inhibited more by an antagonist than by his own thoughts, emotions, or problems. Fifthly, the competent man is an expert in his field. This one's pretty self-explanatory, but unless we're talking about an origin story, the competent man is always at the top of his game in whatever area of expertise he may have. Now, is the competent man archetype outdated or bad? That's the other question I wanted to address in this video. And I don't think so. While modern fiction has tended toward characters with dynamic arcs and heavy emotional baggage, which of course is fine and needed in much fiction, I'm not denying that at all, I believe there is a time and place for the competent man, and I actually believe there should be more of them in our entertainment today. They are great examples of strength, composure, and perseverance. And of course, they're fun to watch as well, as they just beat unyieldingly towards their end goal. Not every character or protagonist has to undergo dramatic change, 
Sometimes, it's better to follow someone who doesn't change at all, but is instead steadfast in his beliefs and abilities from the beginning. So, while the competent man character archetype may seem like a boring artifact of a bygone era to most, I believe it is needed and even necessary now more than ever in our fictional works. So guys, have you thought much about the competent man archetype? Let me know in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new here, I would love to have you, and like always, I will see you next time.